Greetings to you and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. I hope you are doing well. Today's special tutorial is actually sponsored by Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Okay, your best free partition manager out there that is used by millions of people. And I am more than glad to actually present to you today the latest version of this particular software, which is actually the mini tool partition wizard free 12.8. So I will be walking you through the different uh, features of this particular software. And just for the purpose of today's tutorial, I will show you how you can actually extend your c drive no longer will you run out of space and or even have your pc or your windows crashed simply because your c drive was out of space okay no longer will you face any of such things and no longer will you have the difficulty of extending your c drive simply because the disk that actually contains space from which you can actually take some volume and add to your C drive is not adjacent to the C drive. With the help of the Mini Tool Partition Wizard 3.12.8, you can actually extend the volume of your C drive by taking volume or unallocated volume from any disks at all whether or not this disk is adjacent to your c drive besides you could even merge your c drive with another drive whether or not this drive is adjacent to your c drive with the help of your mini tool partition wizard free 12.8 so for the purpose of today's tutorial I will just walk you through the different features of the software and quickly how you can download it. And finally, I will show you how you can actually what resize a particular partition uh, within your disk and so that you can get some unallocated space and actually what extend your C drive by taking this unallocated space. But in future tutorials, we'll be looking at more, right? So please remember to subscribe and stay tuned. So, with uh, Mint Tool Partition uh, Wizard 12.8, you can actually do all of the following, okay? Even with the free version. But if you have what it takes, then you could get a pro version, okay? So, but let's talk about the different features. So, you could actually create, a delete or format a partition. Uh, move or resize a partition, extend the volume of your C drive or any other drive that you would wish. Um, wipe disk. In other, in other ways, you can actually delete or format your hard drive in such a way that no longer can you be able to retrieve any data just for the data security sake. You could actually merge or split partitions. You could actually convert FAT to NTFS and you could actually copy or clone a disk or partition. All right. Of course, there are many other features. In regards to the package, package comes with different features, right? So you could either like uh, go for the free version. Like I said, with the free version, you are just covered. Okay. You could do all these things that I mentioned earlier on: create or delete a partition, uh, move, resize or extend a partition, copy file sorry, check file system, convert FAT to NTFS. And with the pro version, you can do many more, like actually um, converting dynamic disk to basic, uh, migrating OS to SSD or HD, copying OS disk. I think OS means your operating system disk, uh, converting OS disk from MBR to GPT, and even what bootable uh, media builder. So you can actually create a bootable drive with uh, the pro version, and it goes for 
the anum with the 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 what do you call it the pro platinum you can actually do all this including what partition recovery and even data recovery because when it comes to formatting a hard drive and creating partitions we are often bothered about losing our data mini tool partition wizard free 12.8 gets you covered you can actually retrieve your data okay you can even recover data from your recycle bin if you want okay data that you deleted if you have permanently deleted data you can recycle you can actually retrieve data of your recycle bin and the pro ultimate goes for 159 dollars and that one is perpetual license you know so you have what free um, lifetime upgrade of the software to download it is very simple all you have to do is to go to this website minitoolwizard.com slash free partition manager and you just go ahead and hit download better still you could also go to minitool slash download center minitool.com slash download center and you have it here you have minitool actually offers you many other software such as minitool power uh, data recovery minitool shadow maker and even what minitool movie maker for content creators like you and me so you could try all that out for the purpose of today's tutorial we'll just go ahead and download the software you could even find the software by simply googling the name of it mini tool partition wizard free 12.8 and you should be able to get it once you land on it just hit download all right and you just locate it i've already installed it so but to install this is very simple just double click on the setup click here select your language of choice okay i for now english is okay just hit okay and do the installation once the installation will take a few seconds to a minute and after which you just click on finish and that is it after that you can find the software by searching within your your search menu okay so if you start by typing mini tool you should be able to find it if not by default it usually creates what a shortcut on your desktop so if you don't see the shortcut on your desktop then you could search within your search menu now double click on the software click on yes and once it opens it's going to display all your available hard drives okay so in my case i have to add two hard disks right this one is actually my internal hard disk and disk 2 is an external hard disk as you can see this is an external hard disk that i connected to my computer just for the sake of this tutorial because i don't want to tamper with my hard disk partitions at the moment because i'm okay with my partitions but i just use this external hard disk to, for the sake of this tutorial and that also that also tells you that this works be it for an internal hard disk within your computer or your laptop or even an external hard drive you could actually partition an external drive or disk right so let's continue now uh, once you are here you can actually see the mini tool partition wizard displays your the available disk so this is disk one here and this is this two like i said we're gonna our concentration is going to be on disk two because i don't want to temper with my computer hard disk it's okay i just want to for the sake of this tutorial i repeat i will work on just my external drive which is the drive two or the disk two right here now assuming that i as you can see disk e here which no, under normal circumstances is actually my disk C for, oh sorry, yes, it's actually my drive C for disk 2, right? But because I have two drives, so it's obliged to, because this C, D, this has to be E, right? So you can see clearly that my disk C or E here, I'm running out of space, okay? If I should show you this in the Windows Explorer, you realize that this E is actually red. 
So I may be interested in taking some space from this H and adding it to E or taking it from this I or even this F, though this F is also even red. Okay. So how do we do that? With your mini tool partition wizard free 12.6, sorry, 12.8. With your mini tool partition wizard free 12.8, it's very simple to do this, all right? There are different uh, ways to go by it, okay? So the first option would be simply resizing, okay? So a particular disk that we think has enough space. So if we look at, for instance, this H, and like I said, the good news about the mini tool partition wizard is that the disk from which you are to take the space must not just necessarily be adjacent to your disk C. So by looking at disk H, it could be this H, it could be whichever disk of your choice, okay? Whichever disk, there's no problem. So we could pick this H because I think this H has enough space, 9.4 GB and it's even empty. Or it could have been even disk F is the same principle, right? So we just right click on the disk that has enough space. And then we click on resize, move or resize. Now it displays what the full volume of this particular uh, disk, right? Now we click here, left click and hold, and then move to the right, to the left, sorry, to reduce its volume, right? So we can reduce it as much as we want. For instance, I reduce it down by what? 3.18. So we have an unallocated space of 3.18. And just hit OK. Now we have this unallocated space of 3.18, which is 3.2 literally. And I'm going to what? Add this to my C drive. So I just come to my C drive or this E for in, in my case, right click on it and click on extend. And then right here or on this drop down menu, I can actually click here and then what select this unallocated space here and click. Make sure that you, if you want to just pick some portion of it, you could do that, you know, and that is in case you want to add the remaining space to maybe another drive, you could do that, right? But if you want to take all of it, then you just take all of it and click OK. And that unallocated space has now been added to what? Your E drive. Better still, you just to increase the volume of your E drive, you could decide to what? To, for instance, match two drives. Okay. So, to how do you match a drive? or for whatever reason it could be that you want to increase but for me i'll just assume that maybe the drive that is just adjacent to your c drive has enough space and you no longer need that drive so you want to just merge it with your e drive it's also very possible right and you should even understand that you can even merge your e drive or your c drive or whichever drive with another drive even if the two drives are not adjacent the good news about mini tool is that mini tool always provide you step by step tutorial on how to do anything at all so assuming i want to match uh, dx e and i what if we click on dx i right right click on it then we click on merge then we click on next and we say we want to merge it with this E, for instance, just that the final name will be named I, so th there's no problem. The most important thing is that the two dates will be fused. Or so if I click on finish, you see that we now have um, E and I fused into just I. And maybe through this, I can gain some additional space. Right. Better still, I think that is it. You know, we've looked at actually. Uh, resizing okay but, um, that is pretty much it okay and if you also have a particular disk that you don't just need the content of that disk 
and you want to maybe just delete it then you could just delete it. for instance this h just right click on h click on delete and now it becomes what an unallocated space remember that you always have the option of coming back so if i don't want to delete this disk i can just come back and click on undo and i have it back my i have my disk back i can undo as much as possible but once you are done with all changes always remember to click on apply else nothing will be saved right so what i was saying is that if i want to i could actually for instance create a new disk from this h all right how do i do that i simply split this h by right clicking on this h and clicking on split and then what happens i can actually by default it's saying the new partition will be for instance this 3.07 but I could increase that or decrease that. When I move to the right, I decrease the new partition. When I move to the left, I actually increase the new partition, All right? So now I've created a new disk by splitting this. If for whatever reason, I'm no longer interested in any of these disks, I can simply delete it. So I can simply delete this volume, All right? And once it's unallocated, then I can add the content here. How do I do that? Simply extend the volume here. Click on the drop down menu, pick the unallocated space and hit OK. Once I'm done with all of this, I go ahead and click on what? Apply. And this will take a few minutes. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this was helpful. As you can see, Mini 2 Partition Wizard 3.12.8 is actually very simple to use and in my opinion is actually the best partition manager out there which is used by millions of people. So why not you? Just go ahead and download the software and let me know your experience please look below within the description box and you'll find links to other videos on mini tool partition uh, wizard as well as links to what more information about the different tools that mini tool offer thank you once again and please remember to subscribe. Bye.